Cyberpunk Edgerunners introduced us to varying mercenaries who in this world go by the name of Edgerunners. Now these Edgerunners usually go in groups of 3-5, to five, even more when taking in jobs. This is to ensure that the job is done as efficient as possible while minimizing casualties as there would be more people working together, uh, more people kind of looking out for each other. Now, in Cyberpunk 2077, however, our main character, V, <laughs> this motherfucker has essentially been working all alone for the majority of the game. He doesn't really have a crew to stick around in and almost paints this picture of V being this lone wolf. Now, the easiest answer would probably be that V is just, you know, a badass and that could totally be the answer. There may be parts throughout the game that require you to quote unquote work with certain individuals, but never usually for more than one mission. This is pretty common knowledge at this point, but in the beginning of the game, V had a little trio going on, with Jackie being his main man and T-Bug acting as their netrunner. Now, we obviously know how that turned out, but V isn't exactly the sentimental type to a degree where he doesn't really want to work with a crew ever again just because Jackie died. If anything, that actually kind of pushes him to work even harder regardless of, you know, joining whichever crew. The, the game does allow you to dictate how V operates and how V talks to other characters. But like I mentioned a second ago, we've seen V work with other people for brief moments. So that doesn't really clear things up. Now, he obviously doesn't have to be in a crew just to be in one. In fact, quote unquote crews just tend to be a bunch of friends, more or less. Um, working together as mercenaries. If anything, you know, these edge runners aren't really required to be in a crew. It's just that it's pretty common for them to be in a crew. And maybe this is just due to the game being a game where they didn't really want to add in another system where you needed to level up your crew, you know, etc. Like Dragon Age, for example, or not even level up, just kind of manage, right? And that could literally be the answer. It's the end of the video. Goodbye. But what's intriguing me about this question is that the the show itself actually highlighted how realistic this world of cyberpunk really is. Um, it did a great job emphasizing on how much a single crew needed its individual members to work together to accomplish anything, you know, to complete the most basic of jobs, really. It also did a great job of showing us the consequences of the littlest mistakes that ended up even killing beloved characters. Heck, the main character even died. The show is canon for sure, and so is the game. So, what's the deal here? Is it just a massive plot armor for V? You know, is V just this egotistical maniac who thinks he's better than everybody? Maybe. V is pretty much the player, so again, that could totally be the answer. Is he the chosen one that will bring Arasaka down for good? Well, he also kind of did that, so maybe? <laughs> or is he just a loner the devs put in to resonate with the, with the players itself? Because everybody's lonely, right? All of those answers could very well be true, but the game itself actually highlights this very thoroughly and explains why V is pretty much seen as this outcast slash kind of loner, really. If you go to Afterlife on a random day without any missions that require you to talk to Rogue, and then you actually do talk to Rogue, uh, this is what she has to say to you. Wouldn't happen to have any gigs for me. Nope. Nothing. Really? Not for you. Rogue, are we cool? Because there are other fixers I can call. Be my guest. If all you want are small time smash and grabs. See the regulars? They've got dozens of jobs behind them. They trust each other. Now put yourself in my shoes. How do you think it'll look when they find out I'm putting a crew together with you in it? You had one job with Dex and fucked it up spectacularly. You know that's not true. Who cares? This isn't about skill, V. Only thing that matters is reputation. Why do you think you work alone? Look, So, v, just... there we go. Though you literally only ask Rogue if she had any jobs for you, she literally goes ahead and smokes your ass along the way. Rubs how much of a failure you are and most importantly tells you how most people in afterlife really perceive you as. And in general, it kind of comes to show how people really look at these quote unquote Night City legends. Most edge runners probably do look up to them, but in reality, 
These legends were pretty much people who tried to do something big, they messed up, and they died. And in the case of V, she tried to do something, he or she tried to do something big, messed up, and kind of lived through it. And I guess you can call this double standards, if anything. They don't really appreciate you until, like, you're dead or something. I am not really sure. But the point is, that's essentially why most people don't really want to work with V, or why V hasn't been working with anybody that much. So that's it for the video. Um, it's it's a very quick one for sure. I didn't really want to stall it that much. I, I just want to emphasize how much I appreciate each and every one of you. The fact that you're even hearing this just kind of makes it makes me happy. <laughs>